Welcome to part two of my photo editing with layers tutorial blog. Um, this time we're going to talk about using PhotoForge for layers and I'm just going to show you what it is that I like better about PhotoForge than FilterStorm for some things. So to start out with we need to bring the picture that we want to use into Photo PhotoForge. So I hit the plus button at the top and select a picture takes a moment for it to load the picture into the app and now we bring the picture up large so to start editing with layers you have to select the icon in the bottom row that looks like three sheets of paper stacked up on each other and that brings us into layers and now to add a second photo we hit new layer and the little top button Now this is where you would size the photo. Sometimes if the two photos are different sizes, different resolution, um, this photo wouldn't fill up the, the box here and you'd have to drag the edges to make it the same size as the other photo. Once you've got that done, you hit the check mark and it will bring the photo into layers. So this is where it gets a bit tricky and this is where I got stuck for a long time. Tap the first photo, pick the little box with the checkerboard pattern at the bottom, and now you would think that you were in layers and that you could start working with them, but you'd be wrong. You still have to check, you still have to tap the top button with the three sheets of paper one more time for it to bring it in. Sometimes you've got to do it a couple of times for it to import the other photo. There you go. When you see that line go across the top, you've got the second photo there. So now you've got this slider bar at the bottom that you can adjust the amount. So it starts you off just with normal blending between the two photos. And this is where PhotoForge is cool because you can check the different ways of blending the layers all at once. You just hit them and can, can check each one and use the slider bar to see how much. And this is where FilterStorm kind of fails with this is that if you want to change your blending mode you have to start back at the beginning and import the the photo back in and pick your your blending mode at that time so if you want to experiment if you're not sure what you want then PhotoForge is a good way to to do that so some of the different modes here are darken that's always a good mode to use if you want to replace the lighter parts in a photo with the with the the second photo that you're adding so this is a good way if you want to replace a you know boring gray sky or something like that with a different sky the darken filter can work for that quite well uh, multiply adds the two pictures together can give you quite a dark result but it also can look pretty cool sometimes Lighten is another one I use a lot. Obviously that works sort of the opposite to the, the darken, but it'll take the darkest parts of the photo and replace them with the other photo. And the one that gives you the really cool color shifts and the kind of metallic look is the difference filter. See how that gives you that almost like electric color and the exclusion filter sometimes gives you the same sort of effect only it's much lighter so those are the ones I used a lot for the graveyard series of photos that I did that a lot of people asked me how I got that kind of metallic look to the colors in those so that's what's nice about using PhotoForge for layers is the ability to easily flip between the different ways of blending the layers that all give you different results and it's a good way to kind of get to know how those work whereas um, in FilterStorm doing that can be a little bit of a pain. There are some other apps that work the same way and do the same sort of things. I think one's called Photo Blender, there's DXP, Pick Tools has a lot of the same ones although it doesn't have the difference filter but anyway it is a lot of fun to play around with the layers and blend pictures together. So that's it for today. Thanks!